Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to get your images from online ready for laser cutting using Illustrator iPad. Now, this is slightly different if you're using Illustrator on the Mac or PC. So this particular video is gonna be focused on um, Illustrator iPad. All right, so this particular image is from Freepik. So attribution wise, I've got it covered. We're gonna click on save to photos um, right there and that's gonna actually save the image into your um, iPad. Next up, I'm gonna go into my uh, Illustrator. Uh, I'm gonna go into a new file. Uh, let's just gonna give this a name. Uh, I might just call it uh, Flower. And of course, the usuals, um, I need to have make sure the width and the height is 810 by 450. Uh, and of course, the color mode to be in RGB. Cool. Um, and again, the reason why we do 810 by 450 is so that um, it actually matches our laser cutter bed size. Cool. So next up, I'm going to go into photos and I'm going to bring in my image. And there you go. Right now, this is not a, a vector image. This is, this is actually a PNG. How do I know it's PNG? If I zoom in really close, you guys can see that it's actually quite um, pixelated. So therefore, this is not a vector. All right, to vectorize it, I'm going to click on this little dot right here. And it should take a little bit of time. Sometimes it might um, find out that the picture looks really weird. And that's because you need to make sure that you click on uh, source and click, make sure you click on sketch. Because I don't know why it, sometimes it just goes to like different things. Like if I do it as a line art, um, then when you do like a vector trace, this is what the image looks like and that's not what you really want so we're going to go into sketch um, and we're going to leave it like that now i'm going to focus on the top um, top left um, diagram here so i'm going to click it again once more see that little tick button right here uh, click that and it's pretty much um, kind of ready to go the next part is i'm going to click on uh, ungroup and i want to work with each of these uh, individual ones so i'm going to select all of these I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to select this and get rid of it. And this is the one that I want to be working in. Now, ideally, what I want to be doing is that um, I want to actually have the frangipani flower here as a border and not a circle. So I'm going to get rid of the um, circle there and I'm just working with this frangipani here. Um, so in other words, what I'm trying to do is like kind of create. Oh, hang on. Let's try this again. Uh, trying to create. Uh, a little shape around it what am I doing like something like that but that's like the border exact border of the frangipani flower right so that's what I want to try and do so the first step that I want to do is um, what I can do here is like uh, I kind of group it first and this is and I'll show you a couple of the tricks here there's an align button here and I'm gonna align it um, both ways so I know that that image there is right now locked in the middle. The next step I'm going to do is click on the duplicate button, which is this plus button right here. And I'm going to create a duplicate and I'm just going to get rid of it to the outside. We're going to bring that duplicate back. But for now, we're going to work on this particular image here. All right. So when we get this image, uh, we're going to have to go back to ungroup again. Uh, so we're going to ungroup. And this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. But... Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to use the switch button and I'm going to switch the colors um, so I can actually see the what I'm trying to work with. So right now, we've got this little leaf here that's actually separated from the flower itself. And we've got another leaf and we've got another stem kind of sticking out. So what I want to do is I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to go into properties and not opacity. I want to make sure that's 100%. I want to go down to the stroke size. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boost the stroke till I feel like um, those black lines are kind of merging. Now, you got to be careful a bit because what happens is that you can kind of see that there's like these little sharp lines that are actually coming out. So to avoid the sharp lines, what you could do is if you go further down the menu, you've got these three gray boxes right at the bottom here. We're going to click on the middle one there. And when we click on the middle one, those sharp lines uh, disappear and they become a lot smoother. Now, this is where I get kind of frustrated with the uh, Illustrator on iPad because on the Mac, this is like literally a one-click process and I'm done. But on the iPad, you've got a whole lot of extra steps that you need to do. Uh, 
So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click on create stroke outline. And that should pretty much create a little outline of that stroke. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to try and combine this all, but um, but I found that it didn't actually work as well. So I might actually do this one extra step. I'm gonna revert it back. I'm gonna leave it like, actually no, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I am going to go and release compound part. There we go. So what it's done is like, now it's all like a, this big black messy blob. Um, but I still don't want these little um, white spots in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it all and I'm gonna go to Shape Builder. And usually, Combine All should work, but I'm gonna click on Shape Builder and I'm literally gonna try and get rid of these things here and see if that works. Yes, it does. So all those little blue lines that I can see, I wanna get rid of. So as I said to you guys, this is a little bit more painful to do. Like this step is literally done in uh, like, I would say like little bit, literally one minute, less than one minute. But on the iPad, you've got to kind of do all of these extra bits. Cool. Now that's done. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to invert the color. And there is my outline. Now this is basically going to go into red. So I'm going to chuck this as red because I know that that's going to be laser cuts. Uh, noticing that it's not the pure red. If you want pure red, you want to put an FF000. Um, that's the pure red there that we want. Um, and that's going to be our red uh, vector for actually to be laser cut. And we're also going to change it to 0 0.001. That's all. Oh, did I not change it? No, I didn't change it, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to come back to it. Now, remember, this particular image is actually outside. And we also said that we were going to align it. So we, we literally worked in the middle of the board. So when we go into align it, we can actually click on center in the other way and it's aligned beautifully. So if I actually zoom in right now, you guys can kind of see what's happening with this flower there. Now that black is all gonna be in, um, rastered or um, engraved, and then the red is gonna be the actual um, cut of the um, the cut of the, um, the design. So make sure that your red is actually at 0 0.01, 0 0.001, sorry. And then you are pretty much ready to, to go for this to actually to get cut out. Cool, so I know it's a little bit finicky with this, uh, doing this on the iPad, but what I will do is maybe in a, um, I'll try and upload um, a similar video when while using Mac or a PC, and you can see how fast that video is gonna be. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this video, and as always, thank you for watching.